Black Magic is a powerful family of products for oxidizing metals. As with all powerful products, Black Magic must be handled with a great deal of respect and care. Follow all safety precautions when working with these products. The focus of this video is on the safe operation of the black oxide tank. Hubbard Hall offers several Black Magic products for the oxide process, including Black Magic Infusion, Black Magic Infusion Liquid, Activated Black Magic Plus, Liquid Black Magic ABM Rectifier L2, Activated Black Magic Booster, Liquid Black Magic Booster. Blackening steel is done in seven stages. Parts are moved from process tank to tank in a timed sequence. The flow in this process is clean, rinse, acid, rinse, black oxide, rinse, and oil. This process is only designed for ferrous metals. Never introduce non-ferrous metals including zinc, aluminum, magnesium, and galvanized metals to the tanks. Chemical safety. The black oxide chemicals are highly corrosive to skin tissue, even the cold liquid or powder form. When boiling at 285 Fahrenheit, they are even more dangerous. Always wear your personal protective equipment or PPE. This includes goggles and face shield to protect the face and eyes. Alkali resistant gloves, boots, apron should be worn to protect the skin. It is a requirement to have a safety shower and eye wash close by. In case of exposure, remove contaminated clothing and flush or shower for 15 minutes. The tank shape is important for safety. No matter what size, the shape of the tank should be trough-like or cube-shaped, meaning the depth of the tank is less than the length or width of the tank. This allows good shallow boiling and additions to mix in efficiently. Chimney-shaped tanks that are tall and narrow tend to layer and boil over very easily. The chemicals react violently with non-ferrous metals such as aluminum, zinc, magnesium, or galvanized metals. Never put these in the tank and make sure any equipment used anywhere in the process are made of steel or stainless steel. The liquid products are identical to the powder chemistry but contain the correct amount of water for normal operation. They are easy to use by simply pouring or pumping the liquid product into the tank. Fill the tank to working level and turn on the heat. Leave 6 to 10 inches from tank rim for free board to prevent boil over or overflow from adding parts. The Black Magic powdered products include Black Magic Infusion Powder, Activated Black Magic Plus, Black Magic 6040. An electric mixer is recommended or a second person to continuously stir. Start by filling the empty tank halfway with cold tap water. Use a long handled shovel, scoop the dry chemical salts or powder. While the mixer or second person is continuously stirring, slowly sprinkle or sift the powder or salts into the tank. Addition of the salts will generate heat and temperature will rise rapidly. This poses a danger of localized boiling or splashback if the chemicals are added too quickly. Long handles allow the operator to stand back from the tank. Always add salts or powder to water. Never add water to dry salts as they will overheat and stick together in one large mass. Each six pounds of black magic salts dissolves to make one gallon of final tank volume. Stir in salts with a paddle or mixer. Undissolved salts cause hot spots. When the correct amount of black oxide salts have been added to the tank, then turn on the heat. The boiling temperature is lowered by adding back the water that was lost due to evaporation. The heat or flame level is held constant. Only add water when the solution is boiling. Trickle the water in above the surface. Water addition mixes in with boiling salt solution, lowering the temperature. If the boil stops, then the fresh water can't mix and you must wait for the boil to return to continue adding water. A non-boiling tank will cause water to layer. The water layer converts to steam and the tank erupts from the expansion of the steam. Add water slowly to avoid layering and only when boiling. The liquid in the tank steams and splatters when the water is added, so stand back from the tank. An automatic controller for water addition is the best technique. Manual water addition requires constant vigilance.
The Black Magic products for steel are Black Magic Infusion, Black Magic Infusion Powder, Activated Black Magic Plus, Liquid Black Magic ABM. All of these are used boiling in the 285 Fahrenheit range. The level of the boiling solution should be run around 10 inches from the top of the tank to allow room for the volume of parts to be immersed without overflowing the tank. Tank loading is one pound of steel parts per two gallons of tank volume for a good black. That load will permit the boil to return within two minutes. If the parts are tube shaped, then lower them into the boiling tank pointing away from you or anyone else. The liquid level in the tank slowly creeps down due to drag out by parts. To keep the tank volume at a constant level, chemistry has to be added to make up for the loss. Powder or salt such as Black Magic Infusion Powder or ABM Plus are slowly sprinkled or sifted into the tank. Adding the powder can only be done while the tank is being mixed or boiling to ensure the powder dissolves into the liquid. Adding slowly is necessary since large slugs of solids will cause boiling over from the chemical energy introduced into the tank. Also, solids can accumulate on the bottom of the tank and cause superheating and tank eruption. Adding powder increases the concentration and the boiling temperature of the tank. If too much powder is added, the water will continue to add to adjust the boil and the tank can overflow. It is very easy to bring up the level of the tank by chemical additions of the liquid product. Just slowly pour in or pump in the liquid Black Magic ABM or Black Magic Infusion Liquid to the desired level. This can be done at any time or temperature. The liquid black oxide chemistry will cool the tank momentarily until the heat recovers the boil. So it is better to make small additions to prevent the boil shutting off for more than a few minutes. We hope you found this safety video helpful and are now comfortable with running the process at your facility. Keep this video handy and please refer back to it whenever necessary. You can view it in its entirety or choose the particular section or sections that need refreshing.